All right, we are on to the Yorkshire Guild offering. Uh, this would be 489, 490, and 491 of the Platt offering. Uh, two different litters here. We're going to start with 489. This is 66-4. She is sired by knockout. Would be the Kilmer Boer Littermate to Fight Club, Littermate to Brantley's Guild that won the National Junior Show, the Heggie Guild, and the Rotoball Guild out of that tremendous litter. Really like what knockout's doing for us. Uh, recently sired the uh, fourth overall Yorkshire Guild there at Expo last week, and uh, really on a tear in terms of uh, the right maturity pattern. Mother would be a dominator guilt that Caldwell showed in 2019. She was champion York, reserve grand overall. Done a nice job for us uh, laying in some females. And sure like this pair of uh, 66 gilts uh, for the long haul. Breeding guilt, market guilt. You can kind of manipulate them and show them how you need. 66-4489 is on the whip. Uh, we think this guilt uh, is uh, a little bigger in her type and kind, but still reads with some stoutness of features. She starts at her head, has a good back <laughs> shape working in her, uh, one that uh, levels up plenty good enough on the side. And we think uh, if you want to feed her hard for a breeding guild at North American or Kansas City or you want to uh, make her a market hog, she's got the shape and muscle to do that. Feed them how you like them, and I think it will make a tremendous sow when it's said and done, have a little resale value at the same time. 490 is going to be next. This is 66 5. This would be a litter mate to the one we just talked about, and uh, out of that good Caldwell Thompson Brothers guilt, and uh, another guilt that uh, that offers uh, uh, offers some balance and look from the side. Uh, maybe not as uh, as uh, much there today in terms of uh, muscle pattern, but uh, for the big ring, we think this guilt will be awfully, awfully good. She reads like a tremendous kind of a breeding guilt. If you're talking about Arizona National, Western Regional. Talking about Louisville, Kansas City, not going to be the oldest, but one that does have a uh, has a great look from the side and one that uh, balances up really good in terms of feet and legs. Proportions are good and, and the kind of Yorkshire gilts that we get along with at the end because she looks like a female, still has enough of everything in a square package. Heaviness of structure uh, and, and a sow line on both ends, the Kilmer and Thompson matching up there. Uh, worked out extremely, extremely well. 491 is next. This is 68-5. This is also a knockout to Kilmer Boar. Uh, Mother's a kingpin sow. We bought a group of gilts uh, from uh, George Watson in Kentucky. Um, would have been last uh, summer. And uh, this gilt here uh, would be uh, out of that group. Uh, the mother, this gilt is a little bit smaller. Um, but I think another one that uh, very similar to the gilt we just talked about. She reads as a, uh, a potential market hog for Kansas City. But she probably looks more like a breeding gilt to us in terms of a feminine maid. A good looking gilt. Incredible about her pastern set. And still uh, green enough about her maturity. But opens up square coming and going. We think uh, another gilt that will make a tremendous kind of a big ring. Uh, show guilt, if you want to talk about showing her this winter, uh, this fall, whatever you want to do, a, a sound-footed kind of a guilt. She'll jackpot good, but be a really good big one down the way.